in honor of my one year anniversary, I wanted to share a little manifestation video on how I called in my healthy conscious relationship. <laughs> So back in January 2020, I was getting out of a relationship and that's when I decided that I wanted to dive deeper into myself. I wanted to dive deeper into my patterns, my cycles, the narratives that I was speaking into existence, um, anything related about love, any limiting beliefs I had about it, um, anything that was holding me back. And um, truthfully, I felt like I was hitting a lot of blockages. My past relationship really taught me so many things and revealed so many things about myself that I didn't even realize. I started unpacking a lot of things that came up, a lot of triggers, a lot of different um, situations that I had gone through in the past that really made me think twice about the kind of person I want as my future partner. The, the kind of things that I will tolerate, the boundaries that I will create, the kind of experiences I want to have. So I started really just analyzing everything and going um, through my past experiences and being real with myself, being authentic, being raw, and letting all my emotions just be laid out on the table. I think being authentic and having the courage to open your heart unpack all those things that may be painful is where the real vulnerability and the real truth lies and you'll be able to get real answers to these questions of what, do, what am I looking for in a partner what kind of person do I want to become what kind of person do I want to be with what do I want to reflect what do I want to radiate? You know, all these important things. And at the end of the day, everything starts with self, yourself. You can only change yourself. And all that that comes into your world is because you've created that bubble, that magnetic energy that attracts all these experiences, people, opportunities, everything is an absorption is a reflection of you so with that being said i decided to get really intentional on who i am who i want to become what are my values all of these things make up who you are your true essence your core your soul i wasn't looking for a partner necessarily I just knew that I needed to get clear on myself so I don't repeat negative patterns and I don't repeat um, any cycles that kept holding me back or didn't allow me to flourish as my true self or what I truly wanted in life. I think the game changer was when I wrote down my non-negotiables. I saw a video with Sierra and Russell Wilson. They were talking about their relationship and that they, before they met, I believe, or before they got together, they had written down their five non-negotiables, things they will not negotiate when it comes to their lives, their relationships. They called in each other and all those things that they had written down before resembled and symbolized their partner. So I thought this was a, a perfect exercise that I can participate in just to get clearer on what it is that I want. So I decided to write down my five non-negotiables. I only could come up with four, so they became my four non-negotiables. And they were, one, striving to better themselves in all aspects. Into personal development, takes accountability, responsibility and is straightforward Two, a man of faith growing in their relationship with God and their spiritual development three a provider willing to lead me when need be willing to take me to the next level willing to go deep to invest in his future and me four treats me like a queen willing to go the extra mile 
firmly understands communication, effort, and quality time. Always keeps things alive, a balance between romantic and goofy. So those were my four non-negotiables. I wrote that in March of 2020. A couple months later, I ended up being with my partner. I ended up calling in the person who resembled, who symbolized, who radiated all four of these non-negotiables. And he happened to be my best friend. When you get specific, when you get intentional about what it is that you want, it will come to you in unexpected, miraculous ways. That's the beauty of life. Why would you want to call in your blessings and then expect them in a certain way? There's no fun in that. Life is an adventure. Be intentional. Know what you want. Know who you are. Stay solid in that. And all will come to you. When it comes to love specifically, a lot of us are just searching for love, wanting to be loved. We love the idea of love. Trust me, I've been there. But a lot of times, with calling in love means that you need to look at yourself. You need to see what it is that you are continuously speaking upon love. Really listen to yourself because all of that reflects onto your life whether you know it or not. I have a friend who always would say, men ain't this, men ain't that. Uh, men always treat me this way, they always ghost me. And she would continue to run into those experiences because she kept believing that, she kept speaking that, and she kept affirming that with her own emotional intensity. Really be careful on what you're speaking. It's these narratives that we keep repeating to ourselves that are really hurting us and we don't even know it. We have more control than we think over our lives. Another thing I want to point out is with calling in a person or characteristics of a person, you need to do the work yourself. If you want specific qualities in a person, make sure they match up with who you are. It doesn't make sense if you are calling in certain things, but you can bring those to the table. If you want an honest, open-hearted, vulnerable man or woman, then be that yourself. Embody that. That's the only way that you will actually get true authenticity authentic connection. One thing I will tell you is that it all comes to fruition in one way or another. And if it doesn't, it's because your blessing is still on its way. It's getting prepared for you. So as it's as your blessing is getting prepared, make sure you show up for yourself. Make sure you, you are fueling yourself. Make sure you are doing the work. A lot of these times when it comes to healthy and conscious partnerships, you need to show up extra. It will reveal so many different things that you may need to work on to dive deeper into to make sure that you are ready. It's not an, just an easy thing. It's a commitment to show up for yourself, to show up for your partner and continue fueling your personal development and making sure that you are really rewiring yourself and really taking care of yourself. So it's been a beautiful journey. I wouldn't have imagined it any other way. Um, very expanding, very heart opening. I just know that from experience, I got what I wanted. I wrote it down, I became intentional, I embodied it and I was receptive to it, I was open. My main advice is reflect on yourself. What it is that you truly want. Write it down, speak it, sing it, anything. Embody it and allow it to come to you. Be receptive, be open, and allow your blessings to unfold right in front of your eyes beautifully magnificently, immaculately.
just allow it to be because your blessings are on its way. I hope that you've found some value in this. If you have any other questions, just comment down below. But I wish you the best in your journey. If you get anything from this, I hope that you remember it all starts with you. Mm -hmm.